Now in this example we begin with the following electric circuit in which we have one battery with an electromotive force or a voltage of 12 volts. Now we're going to go ahead and make the assumption that our battery experiences no internal resistance and that simply means that our voltage will remain at 12 volts, it won't be less. So notice also that we have three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. And each of these guys have a resistance of 2 ohms. Now also notice that resistor 1 and 2 are in parallel to one another, while resistor R1, R2 are both in series with resistor R3. So our goal will be to find the current that leaves our battery, the current that leaves our cathode part of our battery. Remember, even though electrons travel from the anode to our cathode, our current by convention is in the opposite direction. So our current travels from our cathode to our anode. And we want to find that current that leaves, or the amount in amperes of current that leaves our 12 volt battery. Now to solve this problem, we have to break <coughs> we have to break this problem down into two steps. We want to simplify this relatively complex circuit into something simpler by first finding the total uh, resistance due to our two parallel resistors and then combine that with our resistor in series. So let's go to step one. In step one we're going to apply two concepts. We're going to look at Kirchhoff's first law or first rule and we're also going to use Ohm's law. So, according to Kirchhoff's first rule, charge is conserved. Charge is not created, it's not destroyed, it remains constant. And that simply means that the current that enters this intersection must equal to the current that leaves or splits in this intersection. And that simply means that current coming in is equal to I1, the current goes up, plus I2, the current that goes down and through this a bottom R2 resistor. Now, now we use Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that our current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So, let's rewrite these guys with our V over R. So, I in is simply V total divided by R parallel or R total due to our parallel resistors equals V total divided by R1 plus V total divided by R2. Now, once again, recall that our V across these two guys is the same as the voltage across our battery. And that's because our electric field is constant on both of these sides and our distance separating them is also the same. And that's exactly why our voltage will remain constant. Now we can simply divide each side by V total and our V totals will cancel out and we'll get the following result. So 1 over resistance due to the parallel resistors is equal to 1 over resistor 1 plus 1 over resistor 2. And now we know that these guys are simply 2 ohms. So we plug them into our formula, into our equation, and we get 1 half plus 1 half equals 1 over 1. So we find that our resistance due to both of these guys, the combination of these guys, is simply 1. And that's because 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 gives us 1 over 1. And the bottom, our denominator, is our resistance. And so, and now, we can jump into step 2. And in step 2, we can rewrite or actually redraw and relabel our circuit. And so basically what we did is we combined these two guys into a single resistor. In other words, resistor 1 and resistor 2, each having a resistance of 2 ohms, combines to form a single resistor that has 1 ohm resistance. So, in other words, we redraw our diagram, our circuit, in the following manner. Our 12 volt battery, our resistor, or a combination of these two resistors, so our parallel, and our resistor 3. Now, this guy is no longer 2, this guy is 1 from part 1, and our 3 is still our 2 ohms resistor. Now, recall that whenever we have two resistors in series, that means that our voltage, V total, is equal to V of this guy plus V across this guy. So, V total is equal to V across this guy plus V across this guy. 
And now let's use Ohm's law to rewrite both of these guys. So we find that our current that enters this guy is the same as the current that leaves this guy. And that means our current that enters this guy is also the same as the current that leaves this guy. The point is the current across this guy and this guy is exactly the same. And that's why we rewrite these guys in the following manner. I, the current, times R parallel plus I, the current, times R3. The current stays the same, so it's a common term in both of these um, guys. So we take the I out and we get I times R parallel plus R3. In other words, we see that if we have two resistors in series, we sum their resistance to find the total resistance. And that's exactly right. So now to find our I, we simply bring this guy over underneath here. And so we get our I, our current, is equal to V total divided by this guy. And our V total, we know, is given, it's 12 volts. So 12 volts divided by 1, this guy, plus 2, plus this guy, gives us 1 plus 2, so 3. So 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. So our current that leaves our cathode of our battery is 4 amps. Okay? So, once again, what we did is we combined this guy first to find the total resistance due to the parallel resistors, and then we found these two guys, which were in series, we simply combined their resistance and we divided uh, 12 volts by that total resistance. And we found our current that leaves this cathode.